Christopher. Longman has been one of the most popular basketball YouTubers for a very long time. Recently, his viewership on both his main channel and second channel have been decreasing. Christopher London has also been called out by many other content creators that know him personally. They haven't said the best things. Christopher London reached over 2.5 million subscribers on his main channel and over 1.3 million subscribers on his second channel, LSK. Christopher London is currently a member of 2Hype, which is one of the ways he was able to grow his social media following. In today's video, we are going over the rise of Christopher London on YouTube, how he became such a popular content creator, as well as talking about his many controversies and his eventual downfall on YouTube, which includes his viewership and public opinion. Let's get straight into it. Christopher London uploaded his first ever YouTube video on September 18th, 2012. Titled the band iPhone S promo, which currently has over 50,000 views. He uploaded a lot of skit videos early on, as well as a bunch of story time videos. These types of videos were extremely common on YouTube back in 2012, with many popular creators uploading short skits and funny videos. And even though a few YouTubers still make really entertaining skit videos, they certainly aren't as popular as they used to be. Christopher London's videos were getting about 30,000 views on average by 2013, and some of his videos are getting over 100,000 views. It's hard to tell if these videos got recommended a lot later on, that's why they have so many views, because most of the time it takes YouTubers a very long time to reach this level of success. Either way, though, Christopher London started uploading a lot more vlogs to his channel, such as Vlog 2, Devastating Joe Weller, Vlog 3, Pranking My Sister, and Vlog 5, Playing 2K With My Dad, all of which got over 50,000 views. As I mentioned earlier, Christopher London didn't just have his main channel, he had a second channel called LSK, which was meant for gaming. He uploaded his first video to this channel on October 8th, 2014, titled NBA 2K15, How to Get the Best Face Scan Tutorial, which got over 400,000 views. I think it's a little bit surprising that Christopher London decided to make a second YouTube channel only a couple years after he started his main channel, because back then a lot of YouTubers uploaded all their videos on one channel no matter the niche. He ended up making the right decision though because both his main channel and his gaming channel became extremely popular. Christopher London was uploading a lot of NBA 2K15 My Career and My Team videos, and these videos were getting about 25,000 views on average. He didn't just upload NBA 2K content on this channel though, and he posted other games like FIFA 15, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, GTA 5, and more. Moving back to Christopher London's main channel though, he was uploading a ton of story time videos in 2015 and 2016, often talking about some of the worst dates he ever had, and other really funny stories. These videos were getting about 200,000 views, and I think these are some of the best videos Chris ever made. Now obviously the videos he uploads today have much better production quality, but as far as pure entertainment value, I think his older videos are much better. Jumping forward to October 26, 2015, Chris uploaded a video titled Insane Basketball Challenge featuring Justin the Laser, which got over 750,000 views. As most of you probably know, Jester and Chris are both current members of 2Hype, and this is the first video they ever made together. Christopher Lennon started incorporating a lot more in real life basketball content on his channel, which was a great idea, because he's an incredibly talented basketball player. Chris is 6 feet 10 inches tall, and he played D1 basketball at Oral Roberts in 2014. Chris would have a lot of severe injuries though, and he's made a ton of videos talking about how he's quitting basketball at a high level. On February 12th, 2016, Chris uploaded a video titled Storytime, Why I Quit Basketball, Career Ending Injury Full Story, which got over 420,000 views. Moving forward to 2017, Christopher Lennon kept on uploading NBA 2K content on his second channel, mainly posting NBA 2K17 Park and My Team videos. I watched a ton of his 2K content around this time, because 2K17 is my favorite basketball video game ever made, and Chris made some really engaging videos on the game. 2017 was also the year that a lot of popular NBA 2K content creators decided to move into a house together and make videos. The members of this house were Jester, ZachTTG, Mopey, TD Presents, Los Polos TV, Cash Nasty, and obviously Chris. They eventually decided decided to start calling themselves 2Hype and started expanding their content beyond just NBA 2K by uploading IRL videos with everyone in the group. On August 12th, 2017, Chris uploaded a video titled The Crazy Pool Mini Basketball Trick Shot Challenge featuring Cash, Jester, and TD, which got over 4.5 million views. Christopher London kept on uploading videos with the other creators, and he was now averaging over 800,000 views per video. During this time, I was watching almost all of Chris's content, and I also think it's really important to have multiple people in your videos, because it's a great way to grow an even larger fan base, because everyone is capitalizing off of the cross promotion. Christopher London was uploading a lot of basketball content with 2Hype, such as 2Hype Knockout Basketball Game, 2Hype Mini Hoop 3 Point Bank Challenge, Most Embarrassing 1v1 Mini Basketball Game Ever, and a bunch more. Jumping forward to 2018, Chris kept on uploading videos with 2Hype on his main channel, but on his second channel, LSK, he started posting more Fortnite content instead of NBA 2K18 content. This was actually really common for a lot of people in the 2K community during 2018, because 2K18 was one of the worst 2K games ever made, and Fortnite was a new game that everyone was talking 
talking about. The last NBA 2K I played was um, NBA 2K13. Um, which was, that game was high. It was high. But um, NBA 2K12 was my shit, bro. It was fire, bro. Wow. Oh, so it only made sense for Chris to give it a try. He uploaded Fortnite videos all the time, and they were getting about 300,000 views per video. Christopher Linden also started streaming Fortnite on Twitch a lot during 2018, streaming over 140 times that year. He was averaging around 500 concurrent viewers per stream, which I'd say is pretty good for someone who is mainly a YouTuber. Moving forward to 2019, everything was going great for Chris, and I was watching his videos all the time. His videos were getting over 1 million views with regularity, and 2 was in a great spot overall. Christopher Linden would face a lot of drama in late 2020 and early 2021, though when Mopey, one of the members of 2Hype, decided to leave the clan Mopey, Mopey exposed some people from some 2Hype members make a video calling out all the members. Mopey eventually deleted this video, but it already had millions and millions of views, and the entire internet was talking about 2Hype. In this video, Mopey said that a lot of the 2Hype members were really disrespectful to him off camera, and pretty much everyone took Mopey's side, because he had all the screenshots to prove it, and there was no reason for him to be lying. Christopher London ended up making a response video trying to stop all the backlash, but it really didn't help, and most people knew he was just trying to save his image. Los Polos TV, another former member of 2Hype, made a reaction video to a previous response video that Chris made on December 16th, 2020, which got over 650,000 views. This video was over two and a half hours long, and Los Polos TV basically said that he doesn't trust Christopher London at all, and also that anything he can to save his career. There was still a lot of drama surrounding Christopher London in 2021, but as time went on, people didn't care as much, and they kept uploading videos on a regular basis. Christopher London did see a decrease in viewership after the Mopey situation, though, and his videos went from averaging 700,000 views to about 200,000 views. Chris was still uploading his IRL basketball videos with 2Hype, but as always, he uploaded some random challenge videos here and there. As for his second channel, LSK, he stopped uploading Fortnite content and started posting a lot more reaction videos in 2021. These reactions were averaging around 100,000 views per video, but a lot of people don't like reaction videos because they take little to no effort and it just comes across as lazy content. Either way though, Chris was making reaction videos on pretty much everything, such as scary videos that'll make your heart race, reacting to my first gaming setup ever, and AMP house tour reaction, all of which got over 30,000 views. Moving back to Christopher London's main channel though, he got Damn, and this and son got a million, million subs on on two channels, bro. And he and he averaging views like that. That's bad, bro. It's not valid. Okay, he stopped uploading so many time videos and vlogs altogether, which is really disappointing for me as a fan. I think Christopher London's videos are at their best when he shows the most personality, and you can't always do that in basketball-related videos. It's important to understand, though, that his content was still getting hundreds of thousands of views, so it's not like he lost all of his audience after the 2 of drama, but when I talk about the downfall of Christopher London, it's more so public opinion and not viewership. Moving forward into 2022, Chris only streamed a total of 26 times on Twitch, mostly playing NBA 2K23. I don't really blame Chris for not streaming as much in 2022, because he's only averaging about 200 concurrent viewers per stream. It also doesn't make sense from a financial perspective because he could be using all that time streaming, making more YouTube videos, which will bring in a lot more revenue. Twitch is also one of the most difficult platforms to grow on, and if you aren't streaming consistently, your viewers are going to find someone else to watch. Jumping back over to YouTube though, Christopher Lund started uploading YouTube Shorts as a way to bring in more viewers to his channel. YouTube Shorts have the potential to absolutely blow up and get tens of millions of views, but a lot of Chris's YouTube Shorts are struggling to get 100,000 views. Other members of 2 like Jess are able to get 50 million views on their YouTube Shorts, so maybe it's just a matter of time before Christopher Lennon's short form content starts to blow up. I'm not a huge fan of YouTube shorts though, and even though YouTube is promoting them a lot, they don't bring in nearly as much money as long form content, and I still think there's going to be a demand for longer videos. I do think it's smart for Christopher London to experiment with YouTube shorts though, because you never know how many views they could get, and it's a great way to increase your subscriber count. As for his long form content in 2023, Christopher London is still playing. That's a fact, bro. Basketball related videos, and they are getting about 150,000 views per video. When it comes to his second channel, he is still posting reaction videos all the time, they are getting about 20,000 views. Christopher London certainly isn't getting as many views as he used to, but he's still getting a lot of views when considering the fact that he's been posting videos for almost a decade. I definitely lost a lot of respect for Christopher London, when Mopey, Los Polos TV, and also TV Presents made videos calling him out, and I haven't watched a lot of his content since then. I don't think it's fair to call him a bad person though, because obviously I don't know him in real life, but it's not a good look with people who used to live with their saying terrible things about you. Make sure to drop a comment down below if you still watch.
Let me, let me know what y'all think about him. Are y'all, do y'all watch him still? Do y'all not? Let me know. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibes. We're just checking out you are.